everyone, welcome to our pattern drafting class. My name is Lukis and I'll be your pattern teacher taking you through the journey in sewing. And with Lukis, sewing is very, very easy. Yes. <laughs> so in our first class, I'll be teaching you about the required equipment needed for this sewing and the pattern drafting tutorials. The first thing I will advise you to get, which is not compulsory, is a dress form. This is good because it helps you in your sewing journey. Then when you want to get one, try to get your size because it works perfectly. But if you don't have, you don't have to worry at all. So right now on my work table, I have some other equipment I'm going to show you one after the other that will be required for this journey. And right now, let's go back to the work table so I can show you what you need. First thing you need is a domestic sewing machine and you could get the manual also depending on what you can afford. So you need a sewing machine that is running so well, like I have mine ready. Then you need pattern papers. This also is essential in pattern drafting class. Then you also, if you don't have this, you can make use of a cardboard, but the pattern paper is fine. That is something you need. Then you need a pressing iron or a steamer, whatever you have. Here, another essential thing is also the calico fabric. And if you are outside Nigeria, muslin is what you should get. This is essential because it is just like a trial cloth. So you call it a trial cloth. That's what I usually call it for better understanding. Because you try out your pattern on this. Because you don't just want to ruin your beautiful fabric. So that is why I will encourage you to have your calico fabric. If you get about five yards or three yards, whatever you can afford. Or any fabric you you are not using that you could just test with so having done that another thing i will advise my students is to have a file yeah you might be wondering this is also good because these are where i keep my measurements as you can see whatever i need and then i have some a4 plain papers to play with so that is essential another thing you will need you may need your measuring tape which is very very essential to take measurements other things that we'll be showing you step by step, you could get your sewing clips. I like it so well because it doesn't, you know, make holes in my pattern. So that's why I like it. So you could get your sewing clips or pins. You could get pins too. It's essential then. You could get pin cushion depending on the one you want. This is less expensive because this is magnetic. It just sticks. Can you see then a bit of safety pin? So whatever you can afford. Then you need your thread cutter for cutting your threads. Then you need your fabric markers so to, to mark on your fabric. Because this fabric marker, after marking it on your fabric, with a little sprinkle of water, it just vanishes away. Or if you could afford tailor's chalk, however you want that. So then you need your pencil to draft or marker. So but as a beginner, pencil is advisable because you can always clean it up when you make a mistake then you need markers too then going over to other tools you need your pattern master i like to work with my pattern master a lot because it just works so fine especially for sleeves i won't know that then you need your pant cord this is for trousers this is also hip cord which is very good for the hip area and also for the skirt at times then the l cord which helps you to get a perfect straight line then you need your short ruler and then your one meter ruler this does magic because it is very long it is 39 and a half inches then another thing which is good to have though it's not compulsory is your tailor's hand like i have two different types this is for the sleeve this is for busts area that's it does magic so it is required if you can afford that then you need your handhold curve this is very good for your ham hole area and your neckline, so that is good. Then you need your tracing wheel. This is so essential, especially when you are dealing with that. Then your pattern nurture. This is also very good. I like to work with it. It helps when you are transferring your patterns to your fabric. Then your hole. This is another essential tool if you can get that. It's good for ponchos, especially when you are transferring your that. It is very, very nice. So, having talked about that, you need your tape. This does magic whenever you want to manipulate, especially during that manipulation. is very, very good. 
then your seam ripper when you so wrongly you can just use it to loosen it up so it's another essential tool then you need your scissors any type of scissors so this is for my pattern and this is for my fabric so that is it these are the essential tools you need to get and with this you are good to go for your pattern drafting class so that is it on this sewing equipment or tools required for this pattern drafting class and really i can't wait to start teaching you on how to draft and how to sew i remain your girl for kiss bye